PAX 2017, I am here at the NVIDIA conference room. Now there is huge news, 1070 Ti, and I'm joined here by John. How you doing, man? Good, man. Yeah. And so people want to know what's going on with this 1070 Ti. It's coming in between a 1070 and a 1080, obviously, but what's it bringing to the market and what price point, how many CUDA cores, and of course, the biggest question, is it overclockable? We've got these rumors out there telling us it's not overclockable, but we're going to squash that rumor right now, aren't we? Oh yes, that's definitely overclockable. It's it's like all the rest of the 10 series. It's a very nicely overclockable card. There we go, guys. So you can get this card. You can overclock it just like any GTX 10 series card that's out there at the moment. This card, however, has five memory instead of five X. So GDDR5 instead of five X, right? Yes, it does. So you won't be able to. Ha you won't have the same memory bandwidth as you do on a GTX 1080, but you can still crank it up. So there we go, guys. So it's coming right in between the 1070 and the 1080 in terms of performance, but I think it'd be more closer towards the 1080 when it comes out as the CUDA cores. Yeah, we've got one uh, unit disabled this time. So that's around 2,340 something CUDA cores? Uh, 2,432. Okay, so that's a, it's really close to the 1080. Actually more closer to the 1080 than the 1070. There's gonna be board partner cards out there straight away from the get-go too with this release, right? Not just the founder's card. No, no, there'll, there'll definitely be board partner cards. Um, it'll be on sale on the 3rd of November. Uh, so nice quick turnaround from announcing to being on sale and you can in fact pre-order it now. Okay, and uh, what, what are we talking about in pricing terms? Uh, at the moment, the pre-orders are going for 719 to 749 Australian dollars. Um, US dollars? US dollars, we're looking at 449 MSRP. Okay, now with the cryptocurrency mining going on, this may be indeed a popular card because of that non-X memory, right? It's got GDR5, which is actually very faster, uh, faster than X in terms of latency. Now, cryptocurrency miners, they will want to pick this up probably. Is there any way that gamers can only get these cards rather than the cryptocurrency miners? Because I know there'll be a lot of gamers out there wanting to get their hands on one of these things as a lot of the cards are sold out at the moment. What's your thoughts on that? Oh, look, you know, our main target is gamers. You know, NVIDIA is all about giving gamers great um, experiences. Um, yeah, we're doing everything we can to make sure they end up in gamers' hands. We work with our retailers. We really focus down on getting these out to the gamers. So now back to the base reference design here. We've got input and output. We've got one DVI, we've got one HDMI and also three display ports. Is that going to be standard across all the cards? Because I see these three cards behind me. They've all got the same input outputs. It's, it's ultimately it's up to the partners. Um, you know, we, we have our preferred uh, configuration, which is that, but partners are, you know, they have some flexibility in what outputs they put onto the card. And also with the Founders Cooler, it's just like any other Founders card on the 10 series, right? Indeed. It's NVIDIA's design of the card. It's it's nothing specifically binned or chosen. Um, yeah, it's it's our cooler. And with the TDB, we're looking at around 30 more watts too than a 1070, right? Yeah, so we're looking at, it's a 180 watt card. So now you've got your new 1070 Ti card, right? And now this is Destiny 2. So I'm guessing they timed this card perfectly with the release of Destiny 2. Now you've also got a monitor coming out with the release of the 1070 Ti, right? Uh, this monitor is actually coming out in a few months time. Um, it's something we've been working on for a long time. It's our first G-Sync HDR monitor. Uh, we first showed this off at CES this year. We've shown it uh, a few times since, and now we're really coming up to actual release. So this is the first time we've brought it down to Australia. Um, it is by far the best PC monitor you'll ever see. Okay, so we're talking about this before this interview and now this monitor is made for that ultimate enjoyable experience. Not necessarily the best eSports monitor, but it's made for that person who wants to get just a smooth, gorgeous picture, correct? Yeah, this, this monitor is very much about image quality. So it's about HDR, there's 384 backlight levels. It's a 4K screen, 144 hertz. It just gives the most gorgeous image that you'll ever see. Now I did uh, actually, I'm gonna go play around on this thing. I'm looking forward to having a good experience, but the picture just looks gorgeous from here. You've got HDR, 144 hertz is it? And also an IPS panel. So this thing is the Acer model at the moment and it's gonna hit the market. What can we turn, uh, talk about in terms of pricing on this thing? Oh, we really don't know pricing yet. It's, it's going to be a premium product though. Okay, so expect a relatively expensive price tag. However, with that, you're gonna be getting the best experience on the user end. So now onto the last really cool product here on the NVIDIA conference room is their little USB sticks that came out of really what was initially a joke, right? 
Yeah, so April April Fools this year we uh re- we announced the GTX Assist AI assistant for gaming, and as part of that we had to make this USB stick. Now, most of the comments about it was where can I buy a USB stick? Where can I get a USB stick? That's awesome. So we decided to actually make them. So if you're very lucky, you know you might win a competition. They're they're in very restricted supply but uh yeah we've, we've actually made this usb stick it's usb 3 64 gig it's actually quite a nice little uh, piece of kit but uh very hard to find very hard to get but probably one of our more exclusive products there we go how much can we expect to pay for one of these things if we buy it from the nvidia store you can't oh you can't buy it there we go wrecked so anyway, John, uh, thanks for taking your time to show us through the NVIDIA conference room here. The 1070 Ti obviously being the big news. I can't wait to give you guys some coverage on that, seeing how it performs against the 1070 and also the 1080. And of course, the 1080 Ti It's going to slot where it should be, but it's going to be another great addition for gamers going into Christmas and especially with Destiny 2. So I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.